Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world, the Forest Guardian. Hello, Evelyn. <laughs> the word of the Guardian was law, and all cats revered them. In the sacred temple, the Guardian kept the balance over the Catlands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. My cat is not thriving. She wants to be pet right now. She is scratching on my doors. I have obtained an Evelyn. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. A horrible rift was ripped open in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found and a new temple must be built, or else the guardian's spirit would not survive. Then, the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called, and all the cats of the forest attended. Together, they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life? You, Overcast, a cat of great renown, offered to lead a group into the unknown and build both a new home and a new temple. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call. Once enemies, now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger and there are threats on all sides. What will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails! That's right, Cattails is back! The Alpha is officially here and we're gonna be checking it out. So, I have started a new game for this. If you guys saw my playthrough of the demo, we used Overcast for that as well. But now that the Alpha is here, and probably gonna continue and flow a little bit better into the future versions. We're gonna be starting the playthrough that we'll be using for the alpha, the beta, and eventually the final release. And look at this, look what's here. We have the rainbow firefly pet. So this is one of the Kickstarter rewards. And it's so cool. I love the little aura that it's giving off there, like the, the light glow. Oh, that's so pretty. It's actually in our thumbnail art too, which is by the awesome G. Uh, she has done a lot of our thumbnail art for Cattails in the past and she did a really cool pixel art for this one. So make sure to go check her out in the video description as well. <laughs> she added in that little firefly for us. But uh, we have this here, we have, we made it. Hello Overcast, well we finally arrived. This is our new home now, isn't it amazing? Let's all do our part to ensure our success now that we've chosen the spot to settle down. I couldn't be more excited to see what's in store for us all. Sincerely, Coco. And of course, Coco has welcomed us back here. We have our den, which is looking pretty familiar. We've got a few things scattered about it. We can actually decorate this quite extensively. And at some point, when we have a few more Mews to spend, because uh, we're kind of flat broke right now, <laughs> uh, I'll probably be looking into getting some more decorations for it. So we have Coco here as well. Let's go say hello to him. Overcast, I've been hoping to catch you. I just wanted you to know that if you ever need to carry out any sort of administrative task, I'm your cat. Come talk to me if you want to manage the colony and I'll help you get everything sorted. Ah, yes, we should actually name our colony. Now then, did you have something important to discuss? Well, let's of course go ahead and set this up. And here we are, we are the leader of the fall colony. We'll go ahead and set that up. Very nice, I'll get those changes filed away and make sure to notify everybody. You'll now be known as the leader of the fall colony. Perfect, perfect. 
well overcast. We're gonna have a lot of things to do and uh, some some big shoes to live up to. Of course, Overcast's father was the one who first was able to restore the Forest Guardian in the original Cat Tales. And now she's kind of carrying on the legacy of her father, Dusty, leading the rest of the cats to a safer home. But let's, speaking of, let's meet those cats. Hello, Lainey, how are you? Hey, who are you? I'm Lainey, lovely to meet you. I don't know if you've met Fliss yet, but we're siblings. From the same litter, as a matter of fact. That's why we look so alike. Lots of cats get us mixed up, so don't feel bad if you do too at first. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think your sister is here in the colony as well. I think we actually saw... Yes, up here. Here's Fliss. Hello. Oh, you must be the leader that everybody's been talking about. My name is Fliss. I'm happy to make your acquaintance. Together, my sister Lainey and I will do everything we can to make the colony proud. I promise you that. Speaking of Lainey, you should go meet her too if you haven't already. Well, we just came from meeting her. I'm sure she'll be thrilled to get to know you. Let's go ahead and we'll hit bye here. Uh, we're gonna just hop around and say hello to everyone before heading out to explore. I don't know, so... The alpha map is here. Ooh, what are these battles? Is that like in the old game where every once in a while you'd have a randomly assigned battle that happened? I, I, I guess we'll go check that out after this, but let's say hello to everyone first. Hello, Talon. Whoa, are you trying to sneak up on me? Who are you? Oh, you're overcast. I've heard about you. Fair warning, I advise you to stay on my good side. I don't like sneaks. Well, we'll be mindful of that, Talon. Don't you worry. I had hypothesized that you would come say hello. Yes, I was off by a few hours, but I'm still refining my method. A hello, Crampy, our favorite doctor who we definitely did not upset a little bit in the last playthrough by accident. Sorry, Crampy. But it's fine, it's not canon. <laughs> it didn't happen, it never happened. <laughs> by the way, I am a doctor, not a bird. I know the mask can be a bit misleading. My apologies, surely you already know that about me. I find it helpful to remind everyone from time to time. It is ever so easy to forget. If you're ever badly hurt or in need of a remedy for any malady, I am your cat. Now then, Overcast, what might I be able to do for you? Well, we just wanted to stop in and say hello. We will chat with everyone more, but for now, we're just trying to get to know everyone a little bit. Just say hi, see who's here. I don't know if any of the new cats from the Kickstarter were added. I know that they want to add some, but I don't know if they're in the game yet. You're Overcast. Huh, thought you'd be taller or something. Not quite what I had in mind. Hey! I'm Charlotte. We probably won't see each other around much. I like being alone most of the time. You know what? That's fair enough. Anyway, I've got a lot of stuff to do, so... Yeah. Well, it's good to meet you too, Charlotte. Well now, I don't think we've met just yet. Name's Bob. Nice to meet ya. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, Bob. <laughs> I see where you get your name. You got that cute little bobbed tail. Oh, you're the leader. Sorry, I didn't mean to be surprised there. You're just not what I was expecting is all. Anyhow, it's nice to make your acquaintance. I'll be around if you need me. See you around. Ah, Overcast, you've interrupted my scheming. Maybe I'll let you in on my plans. Oh, well, you seem to be. <laughs> you certainly do seem to be planning. Goodness, I'm curious what those plans might be. And maybe a little bit scared to find out. Oh, and Garlic, hello. Don't think I know you, so what are you doing here? I'm not interested in buying whatever you're selling, okay? Oh, wait. You're the leader, aren't you? Well, shoot. I didn't expect you to stop by and say hello. I had more important things to do. Hey, what could be more important than getting to know the people we're leading? <laughs> I'm Garlic, and I can't promise you anything. I'm not very good at fighting, or hunting, or anything, really. But I'm here. Oh, Garlic. <laughs> oh, I love Garlic, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to stick to myself. If I don't, I'll probably let you down sooner or later. Just trying to be realistic. No, Garlic, baby! <laughs> oh, some of these cats, I think, have a bit of anxiety. Oh, and here's some familiar faces. Ember. Oh, hello there, Overcast. I'm glad you come by. I'm just about fully set up and all moved in. I run a general goods store called Ember's Emporium. I hope you stop by for all your shopping needs. Also, if you see Spark, can you tell him that his shift started an hour ago? Being a parent is tough when your kid is so flighty. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's right. Yeah, Spark is up here, I think. Yes, hello, buddy. Oh, hey, how's it going? Ember told me a lot of stuff about you. I'm Spark. 
Maybe we can hang out sometime. I already found some awesome spots to run around and catch bugs. <laughs> Spark definitely does like his bugs, that's for sure. And I definitely feel like because Overcast grew up as a kitten in the fall or in the um, forest colony. Uh, I kind of feel like she and Spark maybe do actually already know each other. I feel like they maybe grew up together and got into some trouble together because of course, Dusty was good friends with Ember, uh, who is Spark's dad. So yeah, they, they hung out and I imagine that uh, their kids probably did as well. <laughs> and here's Champ, of course. I'm Champ, I'm sure you've heard of me, so I'll spare you the full introduction. Quick version is that I'm strong, I'm fast, and I'm not gonna let the colony down. I heard there's plenty of action out here in the wild wood, and I want in, so here I am. Consider yourself lucky, Overcast. The tide's about to turn, and I'll be leading the charge when it does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, Champ, on the other hand, I think his uh, attitude is gonna be... We'll see. Overcast didn't appreciate it too much in the last playthrough. Eep! Who are you? Are you looking at me? Oh, you're overcast. I've heard about you. I'll try to stay out of your way. Oh, Buttercup. Oh, Buttercup reminds me of one of my childhood kitties, Shadow. Um, and I think she's actually based off the dev's cat. One of the dev's cats, if I remember correctly. Oh, hello. I don't usually see any other cats at this time. I wasn't expecting on seeing anyone, especially a new face. I'm Phantom. Nice to meet you. Do I smell like peppermint? Sorry, it's all over my paws. I've been sorting my herb collection all morning so that I can fit more into my den. <laughs> it has a habit of expanding into every nook and cranny and needs constant upkeep. Well, it was nice talking. I assume you stop by again sometime? I might be out and about when you do. Don't take it personally. Well, have fun with your exploration and good luck sorting out your herbs. Uh, there's some cats down here too, I think. Oh, we also have the temple is here. The temple of the forest guardian. Let's go say hello to her. Hello. Ah, my old friend, the friend of my father. Are you here? Yes, hello. <laughs> Greetings, Overcast. You've come to seek my guidance, have you not? <laughs> Seen many springtimes and know all too well how quickly they pass away. There's much to do when all the world is alive and the bounty of the woods is great. But a lesson must be learned. We cannot spend every waking hour being productive. Hey, don't don't call me out personally. Come on. <laughs> I came here to play the cat game. <laughs> not not get personally called out on this. <laughs> Take time to gaze upon the flowers of the field and rest beside the rushing water of the river. Never forget to be grateful for the wonders all around you. That is very good advice, though. And also, like... Her portrait's so pretty. Like, we talked to her, like, look it. She's just... Ugh. This is this is good character design. This is very good character design, and I love her. <laughs> and do we have... I don't know if we have anything new in the temple. We've got these really cool little carvings. Can we actually go... Oh! Oh, are these the statues that were added in by the Kickstarter? I think that's possibly what this might be. Spark in the Dark. Oh. In loving memory, Matt, being with you, me, me and everything else in the world feel negligible for just a little while. Oh. Night, night, bug. Oh, so some of these are probably tributes. For Marco, my best friend, love of my life, and Soul Cat, thank you for saving my life. You're my everything, and I love you always. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. A lot of these are dedicated to people's cats, I think. I don't know if they all are. When there's desire, there'll be a flame, and when there's a flame, someone can is going to get hurt. Always think about the consequences. Okay, so I think what this is, and there are so many of them, goodness, I don't think I could read them all right now, even if I wanted to, but holy cow, look at all of these. So what happened during the Kickstarter, look at all of these, oh my gosh. What happened during the Kickstarter is that you, one of the rewards is that you could get a statue with a message of your choosing on it. And I think a lot of people dedicated it to their own personal cats that they've had, but there, there's some that I think uh, are just general messages as well. But is that what's over here too? Is there a whole second hall? Oh my goodness, there is. At some point, I'll have to go through all of these, but I don't know if I'll do that on video. I might save that for you guys to explore because I don't want to show everything. I've got to save some surprises for you guys to check out on your own, but just my goodness. Look at all of these. It's really cool to see how many people were really excited about this game as well. 
Uh, certainly there's been a lot of support and love for it and a lot of, uh, a lot of fun discoveries to be had in game as well. So definitely something to check out if you are playing this at some point yourself, which you totally should because it seems like a great game so far. I'm very excited to delve into it more. Hi there! Lovely day to lounge about, don't you think? I'm Ellie, in case you had forgotten. Sorry if that sounded rude, it's just that remembering names is kind of my thing. If you're ever unhappy with your name, come see me. I can change it for you. Now that we're neighbors, I'm sure we'll be seeing each other more often. If you're ever in the mood for a quick chat, just say so. I'd love to get to know you better. And Ellie, I think, is the other, uh, one of the, the devs' other cats. She was in the first game as well. She was able to change her name there too, I believe. But it's really neat to see her again. Oh, and Jag, of course. I'm Jag. I used to live in the Northern Mountains back before the big move to the Wildwood. Never thought I'd leave home, but here I am. Lots of good memories back there. Hopefully I can make some new ones out here and get over it. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on things around town for you. Some cats gotta keep the peace and watch out for petty crimes and all that. I'll do my best to keep quiet and stay out of your way as I go about my duties. Oh my goodness, everyone is so fixated on being unobtrusive. No, I just want to be friends. But I think we've seen everyone here, I'm pretty sure. We could be missing someone, but I don't think we are. We'll, we'll have to come back and meet them all later, uh, if not. But I did want to see, where exactly was it? Ah, yes, up and one square over. So I think straight up is the festival grounds. So let's pop our heads over here and see what this potential battle is all about. Whoa, Meadow Outsource. Oh my goodness. Oh, it, there's so many of the so many of the void links. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's okay, hold on. We have to probably be sensible about this ourselves. I have to remember how to fight. Voidling cat added to your collection. Alright, we did do a good attack there. Oh, there's several of them. All right, I'm trying to not get attacked myself. Goodness, this one's swiping at me. Oh no, somebody else is getting swiped at, I think. Okay, we got that one down. I am, goodness. Oh, we've got, we've got a Mew. We got some of this Void Marrow. There's more attacking happening somewhere. What was that? Oh, it, I see there's a, there's an indicator here. Oh no, 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 this poor cat. Who is this poor cat who's just getting attacked? No! Oh no, someone's down. All right, can we? We can, okay, we took one of them out. If you come back here. All right, we got that one. Oh, the battle is won. Here's your reward. We got 11 Muse. oh. Okay, so these battles are really good to fight in, but you have to be kind of careful. Oh, that's neat. I don't think that was in the previous version. I was kind of wondering how they do that because in the old game, of course, we had the territory disputes, but we don't really have separate colonies in this one. Okay, are we able to do this? Oh yeah, that's right. We've got this new mini game for it too. No, I've lost my touch, y'all. I've lost my touch. <laughs> and we have the ladybugs too. Oh yeah, we gotta recollect everything. I'm gonna forget that we gotta do that. Um, and some of these will be fun too because I know Spark likes the different bugs. All right, South Foothills. I think the next battle is one over, so let's go check that out too. Oh, there's a hair here that I found. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it or not. No! Nope, it's gone, never mind. It's very much gone. However, I spy something. I spy something here. What are these paw prints on the ground? Oh. Did that do something? It did! We've got a power paw! You're filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your maximum health has increased. Sweet! That healed us too, which is great because if I cross over into this next tile, yeah, we're right in the thick of the action. All right, let's try to charge up. Whoa! Okay, I think we took some damage. We took a lot of damage there, holy cow. All right, let's see if we can get you to... There we go. Ooh, we got him on, uh, on our tail here. Oh, that one's doing bad things. That one's... Whoa, okay, whoa, my goodness. All right, we're... All right, we gotta make sure that you don't get too close to us. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't wanna, don't wanna die to this. I really would rather not die to this. That's right, we can, uh, we can run as well. Whoa, okay, no, I don't wanna be... I don't wanna be stalking. I wanted to, <laughs> wanted to charge up and I'm mixing up my buttons. Whoa, watch out. There we go, an ermine moth. Oh, good, we won again. All right, we got the uh, 
I got some quartz from that, actually. I was looking, sorry, I was looking at that squirrel in the bottom corner. Okay, so it's good to know that there's daily battles now, too. That's kind of fun, because that adds something that you can go and do each day uh, while you're out wandering around as well. Oh, and we might have a second chance at getting this hair. And we got it, or a rabbit, actually. <laughs> Goodness, between the different games we play that have hares versus rabbits, I'm just gonna be eternally confused. <gasps> look at the, oh, look at the moon, you guys! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna come down here. Oh, are we starving? That's why I'm taking damage. Hold on, how do I open my inventory again? Goodness, we need to eat something. I'm gonna forget to watch my freaking food here. All right, let's eat this. And we'll eat some of this licorice too. There we go. That would be why we're taking damage. I got so caught up in looking at the moon and the stars as they're reflected here that I forgot to even eat. Goodness gracious, I think Overcast might be a little bit overwhelmed by everything she's discovering. After all, we've got a whole new world. A little bit similar. What are those little flitting? Like, okay, what is that? There was a red sphere earlier. Is that just part of, maybe it's part of our firefly. Oh, I bet it's part of our firefly. Okay, can we get this guy? Possibly, oh, we did. We got a fish, we got a trout but it is getting a little bit late. There's so much new to explore. I kind of feel like maybe the first, the first adventure we had was a little bit of like a, a dream that Overcast had something that could be, may not be what actually happens, but something that kind of, maybe she got here and she just got kind of the sense that this is a good place to settle down and that maybe maybe things will go well if she stays here in the wildwood so that's how we ended up here i think um but we've got a lot of uh, a lot of things to relearn okay what in the heck is this oh would you look at that the firefly is helping us gather herbs oh I didn't remember that was gonna be a feature. I don't know, did I know that was gonna be a feature? This is the eternal struggle of memory bad. <laughs> but we got a mouse and what have we found here? All right, it's late, but we're gonna do this. I am the steward of a great treasure. I watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last. Do you wish to challenge me for it? All right, let's give this a go. Then prepare yourself. The challenge is about to commence. I'll ask you questions and you'll answer them. Correctly answer three questions and I'll give you a reward. But if you miss three questions, you're out. Here we go. <laughs> and it's a game show, y'all. Question one. Which of the following is not in the Felidae an family of animals? Well, that's kind of an evident one. <laughs> That is correct. Question two. Domestic cats have a special organ in the roof of their mouths. What is it for? I don't think it's for hearing dogs. I think it's analyzing scents. That's why when you see them kind of like... It's called it's called Fleming. They'll like kind of pull their lips back and it almost looks like panting, but they kind of bare their teeth. That's like they're they're scenting the air a little bit more. They're... they're and they have that I think that's what this is in reference to. <laughs> that's why they make that face by the way. They're trying to get the they're trying to get a better grasp of scent. Ah, uh, that is correct. Question 3. Which of the following colors is not a common cat for color? White, brown, or green? Yeah, I think it's white, you guys. <laughs> Some of these are a little easy and just for funsies. I don't know if there's harder questions sprinkled in or if we keep rolling the easy ones, but I'm gonna go with green. That is correct. Astounding. Superb. Overcast, you've won. Great work. I'll distribute the prize now. I've been your host. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> you found a power paw. You're filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your run speed has increased. Love to see it. So if we run, we can go faster now. That's going to be handy. Oh, and I think our... Oh, there's something down there that I missed. Our firefly, firefly is showing us something, though. But it's late. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to sleep, except I want this bird. Whatever it is, a magpie, I think. Oh, barely, but we got it. Magpie. Nice. All right. Oh yeah, we have our little pond here too where we can do stuff like check the weather if I believe. 
Uh, the As you gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. Today, expect a sunny day with a light rain shower in the evening hours. Right now, it's sunny outside. Tomorrow, we'll have rain in the morning and into the afternoon with the clouds will break. We'll have clear skies through the evening. Nice! Alright, good to know. So we might get a little rain this evening. Oh, and we've got mail. Much mail, goodness. Work order. Hello, Overcast. If you're ever lo looking for work to do, make sure you stop by the task board in the town square. Cats use it to post odd jobs that need doing. If you complete a task, you'll surely be rewarded. Task tokens. I wonder if that's in the game yet, because it wasn't in the demo. We should check it out in a second here. Howdy, Overcast. It was great to meet you earlier. You seem like a swell cat. Now don't be a stranger. Come and say hi anytime you see me out and about. I'll try and do the same. Aw, thank you, Bob. <laughs> How are you, Overcast? It was so nice to meet you. Thanks for coming by the shop. If you're ever looking for something in particular, let me know and I'd be happy to help. I do my best to provide outstanding service to all my customers from Ember. Aw, thank you, Ember. I feel like Ember definitely kind of looks out for Overcast, <laughs> uh, considering he probably watched her grow up. Uh, and I think especially because her dad's not here right now, uh, and neither is her mom for that matter. Um, I think he probably is kind of keeping an eye out for her as she takes on the, the duties of being a leader. Hello there, Overcast. Thank you for coming by to introduce yourself. I believe we will work very well together. If you need medical assistance, keep in mind that I'm your cat. I can patch up anything. Almost anything. Someday I'll be able to remove this disclaimer. Dr. Crampy. <laughs> Alright, just some notes from the cats we got. It's good to see them all again, but I do want to check this out. Hello? In-game feature? Coming soon. <laughs> no, it'll probably be here sometime eventually, and we'll have, have to look forward to checking it out when it does. But let's see, there are some more battles over here. They'll take us to the other side of the map, it looks like. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, this is definitely showing us where the herbs are, too. Ooh, and there's a shell! A whorl. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's something here. What is this? Thistle! There's all kinds of new plants. Who were all of these even here before? We have valerian, we have thistle. Improves your swimming. I do remember that. Increases movement speed. Is this? Oh, one star. Okay, yeah. Lavender, pleasant bunch of purple flowers. Use it to gain a small amount of power. Oh, yeah, I can recall that from the previous game. Okay, okay. Oh, those are the waterfalls. Oh, it, this is so pretty. And I'm curious to see too, cause like we don't have a huge area map right now. I bet this is gonna expand a lot because it's, it's still just the alpha. So I'm very curious to see what new regions end up getting added in the future. But I think battle time, not yet. All right, let's head over this way a little bit further and we will see what that fight is gonna be. Oh, hello. Haley, hi, who are you? Oh, you're, I was so distracted by Haley that I didn't see, um, I didn't see that we were getting too close to something. But yeah, I guess there's randomly spawning cats here too, and I think, oh, there's a lizard, I want it. No, no, I want the lizard. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm attacking. <laughs> well, that worked. Uh, I got a mouse, I guess. Um, oh, hello, hello? Haley, are you good? Oh, there's a... Haley's fighting a crab. What in the heck? Oh, well, let, let's give him a hand. Okay, hold on. Oh, we got it. There we go. Crab added to your collection. Oh my goodness, Haley. You got so hurt from that. Be careful. But yeah, I guess there's randomly spawning cats. And I think... Uh, if I Oh, and Reverie as well. Um, I believe that's one of the Kickstarter rewards as well, is that these randomly spawning cats have randomized names from a pool that, uh, that people submitted, if I remember correctly. Oh my goodness, okay, well that's a lot of oidlings. Holy crud. Oh, I don't want to be crouching, I want to be attacking. What am I doing? I'm mixing up my controls again. Alright. Whoa, oh, I don't want to be in the thick of the fight. There we go, be careful. Alright, we need to get out of here, probably. Uh, we need, yes, I, I do see that there are things, my firefly friend. Whoa, oh, that's not good. I don't know if they all can do that, but... I would like to do big attacks, please. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Some of them can like launch magic things at you, which is a little, ouch, a little bit scary. Hello, uh, not vibing with this. All right, we can keep them knocked back this way. There we go, this one's down. Goodness, these fights are getting tougher. It's good we upgraded our health the other day. All right, do we get that one down? We did, I think. Are there still more? There are still more. All right, do we have any healing items? I don't know if we do. This restores a small amount of health. 
Um, and we got catnip. Okay, I didn't even see we grabbed that. Streets poison restores a small amount of health. I guess, oh, that one doesn't. This one does. I guess we'll use a couple of those. I don't like using them when I'm not actually poisoned, but okay, there's a voidling here. I think that was catnip, which is why I wanted to grab it. Whoops. So the problem is once you do this, you can't actually change your direction. Why are you out in the... Oh, now we're going to get fought. Now we're going to get fought. All right, we did a big hit there. Charged up all the way. Ooh, goodness. This one seems to be pretty tough. All right, there we go. Got it again. Yeah, you keep retreating, but you're giving me a chance to, uh, to take you down. There's still more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's another one on this side. Okay. Have you noticed us? Can you see us? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Gotta swim back now. Oh yeah, you take your time swimming. Don't mind that. Well, they don't dissolve in water despite apparently being made of uh, a void marrow, which looks like some sort of goo of some sort. But uh, apparently they can swim just fine, which is, you know what, fair enough, honestly. It would be, it'd be pretty uh, pretty easy to beat them if they couldn't, if we could just keep doing this. All right, it's not so hard once they don't gang up on you. And we got a mute. There's another? Wow, holy cow, how many are there? All right, we got that. Oh, that was just my firefly sparkling. Okay, hermit beetle added to your collection. Huh, hermit beetle, common, a large beetle with a pair of blue shell. Where do you even find them? I don't recall seeing them anywhere. Okay. Well, that was our battle there. Oh gosh, we still have another one though. And it's already five in the afternoon. These battles will really... I'm starving again. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Whole lot of, um, a whole lot of cats here. Oh, and here, there's that rain that they were mentioning. All right. Whoa, okay. 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 All right, you can go down. There we go. Goodness. Whoa. Okay. That one's fast. It feels like that one is very fast. There we go. We got that one. I'm running, which is good, because that lets me get out of the way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What have we got here? I don't actually know. <laughs> All right. Oh, you better not be launching things at me. You better not be launching things at me. We don't have a lot of health right now, so I'm like, oh, that one was going to go after us here. I'm like, I don't want to die. Would ra very rather much not die. All right, we can keep hitting this one, though. Whoa, okay, we gotta move. We gotta move. <laughs> it looks like that one's attack, though. I, I don't think it can turn once it decides it's gonna do the bigger attack. All right, there we go. Goodness, what did we get? Muse, nice. We're actually fairly rich. We're up to 93 now. And we got some golden seal, which I think heals us, which will be really good. Um, if I think we can sleep most of it off, we'll see. We can also go talk to Crampy. But yeah, I love the addition of the daily battles. That's something that's been new for the alpha. <gasps> Big Mew. 20, holy cow, okay. Yeah, I love the addition, this addition here. <laughs> it, it gets you out exploring the world. And it gives you something to do and a much faster way to earn the money. Holy cow. Ooh. This is a different shrine. I bet that activates in a different season because... Oh, our inventory's full. All right. I guess that's a good sign that it's time to go home and put some things away. Ooh, this is peppermint. Okay, I bet we can bring that to Phantom. Phantom did mention something about peppermint. So I think I'd like to see if he likes that as a gift. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. I usually just keep to myself. Not that I don't like company or anything. I just tend to keep it to myself. Well, do you like peppermint? Because you mentioned it the last time. You know me well, Overcast. Thank you. I'll remember this kind gesture. Hey, we remembered! We remembered! Uh, oh, I guess we can chat as well. You know, it's a dangerous world out there. You need to be safe. How do I do it, you ask? I sharpen my claws daily and venture out on my own all the time. There's no substitute for personal experience when you're caught in a pinch. That's fair. That's fair. I was going to say, uh, I think we have your our relationship tab here so we can see if uh, we've given it gifts or talked to them. I think it refreshes daily. I still am, like, kind of hoping at some point that they'll add, like, 
a gifts list. Like a, 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 this system is re very reminiscent of Stardew Valley, and Stardew Valley has a list of liked, disliked gifts. So I hope they they add that at some point. That's like my biggest want for this game right now. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty fantastic. But yeah, memory bad. I forgetty spaghetti what I've given people or not. <laughs> but let's also talk to Amber because we've got a lot of things that I think we can sell. I don't want to give away too much food right now, but I think we can sell off. How much is the void? Okay, void marrow is really not worth that much, but I am going to sell it because most, most cats most cats don't like it. <laughs> most of them don't. Uh, the rest of this stuff, though, I think we're going to squirrel away in our own den if I can head back to it because here we are. Oh, moth time. Should bring one of these to Spark as well, because it's kind of my goal, though, to get at least one of everything. So all of these things that we only have one of, let's put one licorice, a raspberry, a golden seal. It's, it's just kind of fun to have at least one of each, and I will pick the highest powered one that we have. The thistle will keep, the catnip will keep. Catnip is like the, catnip is a good gift all the way around. We'll keep one of the ladybugs, keep one of the, each of these moths, one hermit beetle. Ooh, we should bring a hermit beetle actually and see, cause those I haven't, I don't even think we saw those in the other playthrough. So let's bring one of those to Spark and see what he thinks about it. Spark, Spark, look at this cool beetle that we got. <laughs> look at this cool beetle, we did catch a bug. You're the best overcast. Oh my goodness. I absolutely feel that these guys would like go bug hunting when they were when they were kittens. <laughs> uh, let's chat as well. What do you think stars are anyway? Ever told me they're tiny fireflies that are way up in the sky so we can't reach them. That's an excellent question. On a clear night, you can see them reflected in this pond, but it's raining right now, so we can't. But yeah, I definitely feel like overcast and spark used to like get up to much tomfoolery. <laughs> uh, they were always probably off hunting bugs and things in the woods, getting into trouble, because we do know from the first game that Overcast was quite an intrepid little kitten when she was younger. But I think with that said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here for today because it's time for Overcast to get some sleep. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first look at the alpha. We will be continuing to play it and check out the different features. So make sure to stay tuned for more of that. That's going to be exciting, I think, when we get there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.